releasing of addictions. Hi, my name is Dominique Britz. I'm a family-centered life coach and teacher. So I had an experience and I just wanted to share it with you. Um, I started to watch a series on Netflix, Outlander, which is not really my type of series, but I got really uh, hooked on it very quickly. And it was more about the storyline. Um, and it started, so I think I watched like six episodes, I think it's been. And it started to consume me. It started to, I started to dream, very intense dreams. I started to, I noticed that I was thinking about it often, you know, waiting for the evening to come, to put the kids to sleep, to be able to watch it. And I woke up on Monday morning and it was, I, I had a horrible, very violent, intense dream and I woke up feeling, oh, okay, I want to watch the next season, I, I mean the next uh, episode, and I really want to watch this. And I didn't like that feeling. I didn't like that feeling of not being in control. I noticed that it was taking over my thoughts completely. I noticed that when I was playing with my kids, I was thinking about it. When I was trying to work, I was thinking about it. When I was driving, I was thinking about it. And it was just all-consuming and it was exhausting and I sat on at five o'clock on Monday morning when I had my quiet time and I just closed my eyes and I was like I don't want this anymore and I committed to not wanting to watch that series anymore and the reason why I'm telling you this is because we all have addictions of some sort that consume our thoughts, that consume our lives. And addictions are not always just the drugs and the alcohol, as we are in society exposed to or told. Addictions are always constantly being on Facebook, needing to Facebook, Instagram, social media needing to switch on our phone and make sure that we check it. Addictions are series, Netflix, anything else out there, DSTV. Addictions are food. When we're addicted to food, we're addicted to chocolate, we're addicted to coffee. When it consumes our thoughts, it consumes our day to a point where a lot of the time that is all what we that's all that we're thinking about and it's not like okay cool i'm just going to let it go it's not that i was like oh cool i'm going to let it go and then that's that i mean i've been going through this journey of healing myself for so long and it's it's been years of life coaching and energy healing and craniosacral therapy and essential oils and you know it's not that it was just easy for me it's been a long process it's been a long journey and I want to share that part with you too because we don't we when we see someone when we hear somebody talking we're like oh they make it look so easy and I want to share with you that it's not an easy journey. It is hard. It is hard to let go of these unconscious thoughts. It's so hard to let go of these beliefs, these false sense of beliefs. But we have to start somewhere. And it's a continuous journey. This will carry on for the rest of my life. And I look so forward for it to carry on. So if you are wanting a journey, if you are wanting to let go of your addictions, let go of your false sense of belief, let go of bad habits, start the journey. 
contact someone who you resonate with, with who, with who you connect with, with who you feel an understanding with, who you can trust and not feel judged. Contact them. Contact me. Contact whoever you feel that can help you to go on your journey. Write down in the comments what addictions are festering in your life. And let's see where we can support and help each other. I look forward to hearing from you. Have the most magical day. It is cold and windy outside. Um, and I look forward to just having an amazing week. Ciao for now.